Good morning. Hello, everybody. It's been a while since I've came on here and filmed a video. But I want to have a great morning and then come down in my little dining area and talk with you guys about how I've been feeling about just overall everything. So uh, let's get into it. I just feel like I've been dealing with anxiety and depression super bad. It's been something that i've been struggling with for years now i've been very open and honest about it on um youtube and instagram and you guys definitely know how i've been feeling and i just feel like life has been so busy and i've been literally just all over with so many different thoughts ideas projects that i'm doing you guys know i do my money business full time i um am also trying to like you know be a full-blown instagram um influencer and you know market myself on there so i just have so many different things that is going on and if i'm being honest i just feel like i have like no value to add to youtube and i know this could just be like my feelings because i get told so many times like i love your youtube videos i watched you for a while and um you're an inspiration like i hear it and i I just like am in disbelief when I hear people say that because to me, I don't feel like I add value to people's life, you know? So I've just been dealing with that and just feeling like um, I don't want to do YouTube for the wrong reasons. Like I want to do it because I genuinely love it and want to put out content versus just feeling like I gotta do it so I don't lose engagement. This came to the realization that I'm going, I'm, I'm going to film when I feel in the filming mood. I want to be authentic and I don't want to resent or hate filming or YouTube, you know. And I know this might be like weird to to hear, but it's just, it's. I don't know when I feel like on YouTube, like you open up so much about your life and you allow so many people to see you and see what you do on a day to day basis. Um, you know, just overall your life, it, it could give you a bit of anxiety. So I'm just, you know, taking it day by day and just really, um, just taking, easing my way back into it in a way where it's comfortable for me and um it's also valuable to you so here i am there's so many updates i am now engaged as many of you know i just moved into a house i have just so many amazing things that are in the works and i am just so excited for what life is to bring but um but yeah i've been a little mia on here and i just feel like i need to catch you guys up answer some questions that you guys been asking so i'm gonna only answer two to three questions because i want to elaborate on each question and spend some time talking about it so question number one is how does it feel to have come so far at just 21 also much love but one thank you so much um, I guess I just want to start off by saying, um, for me personally, I am, we, we hear that saying, like, you could be your best friend or you could be your worst enemy. And a lot of times, if I'm being honest, I am my worst enemy. Like, I criticize everything about myself or everything that I say or do. And I was like hating myself for a while and I'm still battling it. Like, I'm just, you know, starting to um tell myself that i'm enough and like worthy but um i never looked at how far i've came up until recently and even though yes i've moved and i have you know my dream car and i my life is is making steps i still feel as though i am not enough or I'm not doing enough, or I'm not where I should be. And a lot of times this comes from comparing myself to other people or um, just, I don't know, like just feeling like I am not enough. And 
it's something that I'm still battling with and like trying to, not, I'm trying to obviously not feel that way. That is not a good feeling. But, um, but I guess I don't recognize how far I've came and, and yeah, but I, I did like the other day I was sitting down and I was thinking about my life and where I was and where I am and you know growing up and just I guess I always up until this day wanted to just prove everyone wrong like I'm like I got this like I could do it you know and um that was my mentality going into life since I was 15 years old like I knew I wanted more and better and I am the type of person where I don't settle like which could be a good thing but it could be a bad thing <laughs> like if I know that there's more and I could do I could do more and be better I'm not settling like it's okay we're here now how are we gonna get to here and that's how I think that's my thought process in life um, but a lot of times along the way I do compare myself to other people and I seen this the other day and I tell my girls this all the time and as I tell them these things I'm also learning in the process I tell them you can't compare your story to someone's chapter 100 when you're on chapter one or chapter two so it's just you gotta understand and know that it's going to be a process and it's gonna happen along the way um but but yeah back to how i feel um about how far i came i definitely am proud of myself and um like i said i'm hard on myself a lot so sometimes i don't give myself appreciation the way i should but um but yeah i definitely am super proud of myself but i know that there is room for improvement and room for more and better and i just i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there but thank you so much for the sweet comment question number two um how do you balance your business and being a mommy and being a wife so um it's definitely hard like right now i you guys probably noticed the kids are not here um it's been about a month since they seen their <clears throat> their grandparents so i uh, would once in a while i would send them with their grandparents so that mommy could recoup um being a parent you forget about yourself a lot of the time during obviously the days of being with them it's consumed with your kids so it's like mommy breakfast mommy snack mommy lunch mommy i want to go play outside mommy this mommy that and you know i love being a mom and i always say that is literally the best job that could ever be you know on earth like i love 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 being a mom but a lot of times you do forget about yourself so what i try to do is i try to stay up a little later every every single night it's harder for me to wake up because I do go to sleep late. So when I wake up in the morning, it's when the kids usually wake up. And, you know, I, I spend the day with them. I make sure that their priorities are met. So, like, obviously feeding them breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between. I make sure to take them out at least one time a day. Like, it's a must-have. I either take them to the park if it's nice weather. Or um, we'll stay in and watch a movie. Or I'll go upstairs and actually, like, interact and play with them. Um, so, those are things that I do to obviously be a mom and be present in their life. And then number two is um you know managing me and like my time i will stay up later at night i the kids usually have a bedtime of 7 30 to 9 30 it ranges every single day um but when they go to sleep i will watch a movie i will read i will just spend some time on me and like um what's the word i know i have it like right there I will reflect. I will reflect on my day, reflect on my life. What can I do more of? What can I do less of? Um, and that is how I manage that. Now, relationship wise, um, that's also something that you gotta, you know, put into play. And that is something that is definitely huge. Obviously you wanna make sure you're making time for your significant other. Um, so a lot of times throughout the day, we will spend time with the kids. Um, also at nighttime, that is more of an us time, an intimate time where we could watch a movie together or um, just be in each other's presence a lot of time. During the day, like I said, every day is different and it 
it could be a good day where we spend a lot of time together or it could be a day where we just don't spend a lot of time together but i think just understanding that we are our parents and you know our kids time comes first um i think we we understand that for the most part and i see another question and it's, and it's basically similar it says how can you balance motherhood and just being yourself and i one thing that I always said to myself when having kids is I will never forget me and what I love and, you know, taking care of myself. So self-care, like my wellness drinks are a must, my skincare, my hair care, um, keeping up with my lashes, with my nails, um, doing things that just make me happy. I make sure that I make that a priority. It's not a want anymore because being a mom, you know, you don't want to lose yourself. You don't want to get depressed. So I just make sure I do the things that I love and um and i also make sure i do the things that my kids love to do so it's just make sure making sure you're balancing out your day scheduling and you know making um your life organized is something that is super huge in you know just in general like what 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 i do i need i need to be organized so those are just three questions that I wanted to answer. Um, I am just gonna enjoy the rest of my day. I wanted to kind of take you guys along my morning and then just sit here and do a little life update and answer any questions that you guys had. But um, I am gonna ease my way back into this. I am super glad that I am back and I get to just interact with you guys. Comment down below some videos that you guys wanna see. And I am excited for this journey. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next one.